Hello everyone. In this video, we discuss how to properly install PyTorch on Apple MacBooks with Apple Silicon, meaning M1, M2, and M3 processors. The very first thing that you want to do before you open your terminal is to first install the Anaconda distribution. And the reason for that is that if you install the Anaconda distribution, you automatically have Conda which is a package management system. So I'm assuming that you have installed the Anaconda distribution and we can actually check this by typing Conda list and this gives you the name of uh, packages that they're already installed. Obviously PyTorch is not automatically installed once you uh, install the Anaconda distribution and you have to take these extra steps to, to install it. Let's clear this page. The very first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have Xcode installed. So you want to type Xcode select dash dash install. I've already installed this and it takes about 10 minutes at least depending on your internet speed. That's why I'm not going to run this line, but you can see that this is what you have to uh, run this terminal command to install Xcode before we proceed. Okay, the other thing you wanna also do is to make sure that you have the right version of Python. In order to check that, you can use Python dash dash version, which will give you the version of your Python. My recommendation is to use Python 3.10 or 3.11. Uh, it's a good idea not to use Python 3.12, which is the latest version because that can be problematic. In this case, we can proceed because we have 3.11. Now we are going to use this line where we have Python m pip install and install Torch, Torch Vision, and Torch Audio. In most cases, you probably don't need immediately Torch Vision and Torch Audio, but it is a good idea to install all of them at the same time. And also you have this URL here, and I'm going to put this uh, terminal command in the description down below. Okay, so now you can see that we are installing uh, the, the required packages. And it seems that we are done. We successfully installed uh, Torch 2.4, Torch Audio, and Torch Vision. So let's verify this installation and make sure that actually PyTorch can use the Apple Silicon as, as its GPU. So in order to do this, I'm going to type Python and enter. So this will create a Python session. I use import torch. So remember that even though it's called PyTorch, in order to import PyTorch, you have to just write import torch. This will probably take a little bit of time since this is the very first time um, that we are importing this. So it seems that everything was successful, but we can actually uh, verify this by printing the version of Torch that we have. We saw that in the previous line, but I just want to make sure that we have everything set up and you can see that we have version 2.4 uh, for PyTorch, which means that this is great. You can also do more um, investigation here. For example, you can create a tensor uh, by using torch.tensor. That's like the basic data structure. Um, and here, let's say I have a Python list one and two. And so if I do this, you can see that now tensor is actually in, contains one and two. You can also use type to further make sure that this is the right type. And you can see that this is torch.tensor. Perfect. The last thing that we want to do is to make sure that actually we have access uh, to uh, Apple Silicon as the underlying GPU for uh, speeding up uh, uh, computations. And in order to do this, you can use torch backends.mps. I'm going to tell you what MPS stands for, but that's what it is called in this case, instead of CUDA that you have if you have like a Linux or, 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 or a Windows machine with NVIDIA GPU. And if I print this, you can see that we get true. So this means that we have access to uh, MPS 
And as I said, MPS um, here stands for Metal Performance Shader. So that's uh, what you can do to leverage your Apple Silicon GPU for accelerated computations. I hope you found this video helpful. And please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.